Hey guys, Monk Man for you. I'm here with well another Minecraft modding episode. You see, oh, well, I've actually I've got a new computer. Oh, well, new software on my computer, and I format my computer with a new Windows 7, which I finally bought. Like we didn't buy, it, we like he found it in one in one cupboard. But yeah, but I won't be showing you how to uh, like how to yeah make a custom item this episode like I said I was going to do the, the creative tabs today I don't know I know I find out why I got the error now and I can face it now but I'm not able to do any coding as of yet I saw my modding folder here which is good but I'm busy reinstalling Eclipse which as you can see is yeah so anyway, this episode I'll teach you how to do that real obfuscate thingy. <laughs> yeah, how do you even say? I don't know how to even say it's like reobfuscate. I'm trying to call it reob. Okay, now to reob, you it's like you can go here, nothing there, but the jars and everything is still here properly. Don't know what that is. I don't really don't know what that is. Uh, well, to do it, we just go and you see, recompile it and just wait for this to be done. Which it will be done quite soon. It's really not that long to get this thing done. So, should be done in like a couple of seconds. And guys, if you can't hear me properly because I'm talking about quite soft. If you take a look at the time, it's already midnight, so yeah, I must be quite careful, I'm quiet because my parents are asleep and their door is open and so is mine. But with my door open and closed, it's always, it always doesn't make a difference. I can see how we're now done decomplying, piling, but we don't have the server source, that's because we didn't add that yet. I will come in a later video, hopefully. Yeah, let's click any button and now click reob. Okay, now this one will take a bit longer than the recompile, but it will also be quite fast. It's really not that long. It's almost there, more or less. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's packing the jar quickly, just making sure everything is nice. It's now uh, reobbing the jar. Wait, reobfuscate? A uh, reobfuscate? Re Am I getting it right? I don't know. But yeah, reob. Okay, there we go. Uh, we can throw up and we see uh, there has a uh, new classes that I found. That's that's good. We found our classes. So yeah. And click any button. And now you see if you go into a reob. I think you see we have now a Minecraft file which I was in here earlier this episode and it wasn't here. Well, here is our classes, here is a tutorial and here's that folder we made. So inside the folder, the first folder we made, there's our second folder we made which our classes are stored in. Nice. I'll pause the video here so I can click get my like, Java and then I'll show you how to like, install it. So be back in a second guys. Okay guys I am back and now I'll show in case you don't know how to like, install a mod properly I'm gonna show you how to get out of this folder quickly and go to your percent app data percent and I miss it again it's still the same days I've been doing for episode like, 3 and 4 so yeah, and go to your dot Minecraft, and go to your bin. You will notice I don't have much stuff here because I've not played Minecraft here on this new formatted computer. But now it's open with the one raw archiver, and right there, I'll open you up so long. I'm not putting on this because I have that your screen so. You need to click that and press delete. Oh, on. 
completely nice. Over here, press Control A, drag it all over. Okay. It's uh, gonna be done in a second, and there we go. And now we got that. Go into here. Oh, <coughs> sorry guys. Uh, drag the macro folder into here. Like you see, I named my macro into four before the tutorial. That's the first folder we uh, we are made. And I'm dragging it over. And now I can just run Minecraft, and I'll see you guys in the game. Yeah. Okay, guys, my mod is finally loaded. I can see Goya and tutorial beta and tutorial. So I go ahead and I can go into creative, new world, create new world, and you'll see what happens. Yeah, once this in builds, there we go. Okay, nice. Well, if we can hold down, we'll have the ruby block. We'll have the ruby pick. We won't have anything else. We didn't really add anything else. And it's over yet, but over here is our biome. See how Cyclops we spawned to it? Let's just, just prove that we can spawn very close to our biome. There's the red water still. Over here, we can't fly down. Because not so like, enclave, not so water, like, flying cliffs. It's a very nice place if you think about it. This I, over here turns to a beach. Don't mean I, I can just go out here, it says beach. And over here it's a beach. Yeah, I can go here, it goes to Torbaum. You see the names are working? We don't have our entity just yet, so we're I'll be adding in two episodes time. And yeah, I'll see you guys in, in the next episode of our uh, how to make a tutorial mod. Uh, not a tutorial mod, but how to make a mod forge. Yeah, well, hope you enjoy sending your mods to your friends, guys, and proving that you can actually make a mod if they don't believe you I know a lot of my friends didn't believe me so ooh, that's all pretty dang loud oh that's by accident grass block you back I'll see you guys next episode bye guys